Welcome back. We've made it off the freighter, but now what do we do? After all, we don't really have any objectives. There's no evil plot to stop, no bad guy to defeat. All we really uh, want to do is go home, I guess. Well, let's see where we can go with this ship. I'm sure that adventure will present itself at some point. Well, we don't need the weapon systems. Uh, we do sort of need the uh, navigation systems, I guess. See where we can go. For some reason, I really like this music. Simple though it may be. Well, we are there, apparently. Wherever the hell that is. Let's scan! Planet Ortega. Sector 82. Habitants unknown. Volcanic. Crater strewn surface. That doesn't sound very inviting, so let's resume scan. Name Planet Fleabot. Yeah, I don't think I need to uh, explain the joke there. Sector 39. Light atmosphere, one known settlement. Oh well, I guess that's better than nothing. Let's uh, set a course. Uh, I guess we should go to light speed. Punch it. Ooh. A ship is decloaking. That guy does not look friendly. Identity confirmed. Roger Wilco. Case something. Wilco wanted for vending machine fraud. Plaintiff Jipazoid Novelty Company. Judgment. Terminate! That's probably not a good thing. A flashing message on your monitor attracts your attention. Orbiting planet Fleabot. That's almost as childish as orbiting Uranus. But anyway, um... I guess we should land. Hopefully that droid won't pose any trouble. With a mighty wump, you set down the aluminum mallard on the surface of Fleabot. Interesting looking place. Outside, the desert surface of Fleabot stretches into the distance. Countless eons of howling winds have carved this dry planet. Okay, well, I'm sure that's just peachy. Let's get the hell out of here. This time via the ramp. As you step out of your ship onto the surface of Fleabot, you are hit in the face by the harsh winds. It looks like a storm is brewing. Meanwhile, another spacecraft touches down elsewhere on the very same planet. That doesn't look good. He's coming to get us. Terminator looking guy. I think he's actually called Arnoid. And he can turn invisible. That's just peachy. As if we weren't in enough trouble already. But you may notice we can see him coming by his footprints. Alright, let's take a look around this place. Your ship is resting on a sandy spot between several large rocks. It looks like your automated landing system has done a remarkable job. Good thing we have one, because I don't think Roger is a very good pilot. Ooh. It doesn't know what storm is. 
Uh, stupid posture based games. Can we look at the sky? The sky is alive with electrical activity as large ominous clouds make their way across the darkened sky. Well, better get out of here before the rain arrives. Ooh, what do we have here? You see several large rocks here. One rock has a large overhang and almost appears to be a cave. Under the overhang you see several large pulsating pods. I'm sure those are perfectly harmless, but let's save anyway. Pulsating pods. Nah, no exclamation point necessary there. Let's see what happens if we get close to them. Ooh, carnivorous pulsating pods. It's our first death of the Let's Play. Congratulations on your recent death. Thank you for playing Space Quest 3. As usual, you've been a real hoot. And we're Paul Chow. Okay, well, that didn't go so well. Um, let's see what's to the south of here. Ah! The hell? That's a mighty big snake. Something tells me we should not stay here too long. Let's see what happens. Ouch! <laughs> now we're Snake Joe! Oh well. Let's not go south. Let's just keep going west. Go west. Um, no, let's not do that. You're surrounded by sand and rocks. And more sand than rocks, I guess. Strange rock formations rise up from the sand dunes. What a desolate place this is, you think to yourself. I might even say magnificent desolation. If I were Basaldrin. Hey, we're back at the ship. Is this is a Twilight Zone. Oh no! A venomous scorpizoid! Watch out! There it is. Um, those things are usually quite easy to avoid. As long as they don't happen to pop up on the screen really close to you. Well, since um, east and west doesn't seem, really seem to be working out for us, let's head north. The hell is that? You're startled by the sight of a giant beast just beyond the sand dune to the north. Is that really a beast? It looks mechanical. Your fear turns to curiosity as you realize that it is not a real beast, but a mechanical creation. Although it still looks dangerous, you can't decide whether to blast off this rock or inspect further the wonders of Fleabot. Well, there was supposed to be a settlement on this planet, so maybe that's it. Let's check it out. Who in the name of hell would build such a thing? World of Wonders! The hell? Um, I'm gonna assume that meant smile. You all come back now, you hear? Alien scam? I guess that was the proprietor of whatever the hell this is. Aha! A tourist trap! Logical place to put one. This giant metal facsimile of a space beast is nothing more than a cheap marketing ploy designed to suck in any moron dumb enough to fall for such trickery. You suddenly feel like a dumb moron. Well, I'm betting that's not the first time. Uh, well, before we check inside, let's take a look. To the sides. Look like there's a door here and a couple of signs. The desert to the north grows darker as storm clouds loom overhead. You find yourself at the base of a gigantic metal model of a great beast. Let's see. Let's look at the sign. There are two signs here. 
Read this one. See Fleabot from Mog's Head. Entrance free. Sorry. Temporarily closed for repair. Oh well. Don't need to go there then. Check the other sign. Mog. One of the many large beasts that once roamed this vast desert. But they all eventually died of boredom and are now extinct. So I guess this is a replica of this Mog creature. I think you can go to the north here. Um, but I think the results of doing that um, are deadly. Yes. Lightning strikes! And it will always do that if you try to go further north. And we're burned to a crisp! I miss the puns and the death messages. Why ca do we always have the same one? Oh well, let's just try and go into this world of wonders, but we'll have to do that in the next video.